After a long season of travelling up and down the continent, the moment is near. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined by Stuart Robson, as always, on these special occasions for commentary. We're getting close to kickoff time in the UEFA Europa Conference League final. It's Lech Poznan facing Fiorentina. Well, Derek, we've got two very good teams here. Both like to play on the front foot. Both have some great individuals. This should be a really entertaining game. I'm looking forward to this one. So here is the lineup. Well, in this shape, their two holding midfield players will be key today. If they can get on the ball and dictate the play, protect the two centre backs, it will then allow the attacking players to show their creative quality. And a look at the lineup for Fiorentina. Well, the two wide players are great in 1v1 situations, and their movement is also very good. But it's the midfield three that will need to control the flow of the game. And this confrontation is underway. Luka Jovic, intelligent threaded pass here, Bonaventura, working away patiently, looking for an opening, a corner will ensue, Playing it short. Ikone. And it crossed the byline. A goal kick as a result. Chance to do damage. Ikone. Crossing possibilities. Nicely timed tackle. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Sofian Amrabat and collected tidily he had plenty to think about careless in possession Radoslav Muravsky rather sitting ever deeper Antonin Barak. 
Will he play it in? And cuts inside. Ikone. Well, a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Mikael Ishak. Oh, what a perfect ball now. How about this? Well, I must say it did look so promising, but the flag is raised. Offside the verdict, Stuart. Well, he's just too eager there. It's the right run, but he's made it too early. How can he take them on and beat them? Has eyes for goal. The opening goal in the final. And how important could that be as a direction pointer? Well, here's the replay. He's got such quick feet, hasn't he? Just look how he goes past his marker to get his shot away. That's a really good goal. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1 0. Bonaventura. And on the ball, Icone. Well, strong play to hold the ball up. Now the hopes rise as they win a corner. Delivered by Bonaventura. Not messing around with that clearance. Oh, that's a really good run. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. Extremely sloppy in possession. Christian Kuame, and it's with Amrabat. Luka Jovic. And it's a quality pass. Bonaventura. Can he get them level? Bonaventura here. Must be. Now well, the goalkeeper in charge of the situation. Substitution then, let's see how it affects the match. Well, they fancy a short one. Not the pass he had in mind. Ikone. Can he play it in? And offside it is. Might be able to get in behind the defence and keeping it out.
going short. Fantastic work to thwart the danger. Well, far from the most accurate pass you're likely to see. Throw in to come. Well, Fiorentina are enjoying most of the possession here, but their attacking play hasn't been good enough so far. There's been too many safe passes and no real penetration. They certainly need to up the tempo if they're going to get back into this one. Oh, they could be in here, Stuart. The importance of that tackle cannot be overstated. Georgi Tsitaishvili. Just 10 minutes to go. Igor. Bonaventura with it. Antonin Barak. Lovely ball over the top. Tremendous defending to stonewall him. Radoslav Muravsky. Joao Amaral with it. A sloppy pass. So two minutes to be added on at the end. Antonin Barak. Sofian Amrabat. And there goes the final whistle. The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. Memories are being made. Well, just look at those scenes down there, Derek. What a contrast in emotions. Brilliant for the winners, despair for the losers. But overall, the right team won today. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity.